Hello brothers and sisters and welcome to another session of praise and worship and uh, while we get into this time of praise and worship uh, I ask you to you know leave aside all that you're doing let's be completely focused right? and to make this even more meaningful let's just sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Brothers and sisters we've been going through so much these days so feeling separated from our loved ones or some stuck at home not knowing what's happening in their work situation some just wondering why are they not getting answers to their problems why is the vaccine not yet found so many things that people are still looking for right and there are so many other worries that come in our way people thinking about what's happening with my court cases that are stuck there at court, what is happening with my family members who are at the hospital, or about the doctors who are serving all the victims? So many things that we are questioning, and all of it leading us to question God, are you there? Are you really present? Are you really helping people in these situations? My brothers and sisters, I would like to exhort you on this evening let's welcome God back into our lives. A lot of us have been carried away with the chaos with all that is happening around us, with all our worries, with all our anxiety, and truly forgotten to give God the due place of authority, the place of power in our lives. We say that He can, He is in control, but the true control is when we let Him come, be present, let Him act rather than we take control. It is time that we say, Lord, I know you blessed me with free will, but I want to use that free will for you to reign my life. I want to make that free choice of letting you come into my life and take that seat of authority to take control in all these situations of chaos, of worry, of anxiety, of distance. And you embrace us, you fill us with your love. You want to experience you, Father, in a totally different way. What better way to call God down here in us, among us, around us is only by lifting up songs of praise, lifting our hearts in worship to Him, giving Him all that we got. So brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to feel free, be yourselves. If you want to dance, you dance, you want to clap, you clap, you just want to kneel down, you kneel down, whatever form of posture that you want to take at this time. Just go for it. Make that as an offering to our God who is here. Let's enthrone Him in our praises. Let's enthrone Him in everything that we have to offer Him. And make His Word powerful. Make His Word alive. Make His presence a living presence among us. Because He says in Psalm 141, I call upon you, O Lord, make haste to me. Give ear to my voice. When I call to you, let my prayer be counted as incense before you and the lifting up of my hands an evening sacrifice. So this very evening, when we are lifting up our hands, praising you, glorifying you, adoring you, let's just believe that every effort put in is going to translate into something beautiful, if not today, if not now, sometime in the near future. So with that hope, and just raise up our praise to our God and welcome Him in our midst and say, Praise your God, bless your God, we adore you, God. You're the King of Kings and the Lord of Gods. Mighty are you, God. Holy are you, God. Wonderful are you, God. Marvelous are your deeds, O God. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, Jesus. We love you, God. King of Kings, Lord of all creation. Just want to bless your name, O God. Let's raise our hallelujah as we sing. Let it rise, let it rise. An everlasting flame of fire for you.
live too high An everlasting Fire for your name
brothers and sisters, everything that you acknowledge God as in your lives, it is exactly who He is to you, to me, to all the people around in this world. It all depends who we make Him in our lives. Whether He's just a guest who comes and goes as we want or when we invite Him. Is He a family member? Is He someone dear? Is He someone important to us? God has put us on this earth in His image and His likeness to be Him to each other. And through people He acts in our life. But all this time, rather than seeking His hands at work in our lives, we need to seek His face. We need to seek for Him, to see Him present, active, working in our lives. There's only one thing that we need to do to ensure that happens. As we believe with hope in that powerful name of Jesus. That same Jesus who died a few days ago on that cross and rose again. Defeating death. The only thing that can destroy us completely. He has reigned victorious. And everybody who calls out his name sees wonders happening in, his, in their lives. This is what I invite you all right now, brothers and sisters. All those bondages that we are in, all that is holding us back, all that is tying us up, not letting us be free, enjoying the love and the presence of our God. Anything that can solve that issue is anything but the name of Jesus. That powerful name, that wondrous and glorious name, that victorious name, that name which walked out of that grave and brought us freedom, brought us new life, brought us a new promise, brought us hope. Brothers and sisters, let's all say power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every Break every chain, break every chain. Sing with me. There is power in the name of Jesus. Let's believe that. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every
stepping down from there. I feel helpless. Whatever I try doesn't seem to go right. But you know what is the need for me? What are my necessities? You know what I long for. I want to experience you, Lord. I want to experience your touch in my life. be led by you. I want to be directed by you. I want to know how to 
contain my emotions, my frustrations, my anxieties, everything that draws me away from you. I want you to walk me through those areas. I want you to give me that freedom. I want to have that fire. I want to have that grace to endure to these times. Through all those situations. Brothers and sisters, Psalm 134 says, Come bless the Lord. All you servants of the Lord, who stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. We are in His presence, brothers and sisters. He is present among us at all times. That place becomes holy the moment He enters. We gotta raise our hands, we gotta raise our hearts our minds, shut down, shut out all those voices that speak negativity and look to Jesus. From that time on, He's promised us someone who's going to be with us, who's going to guide us, who's going to lead us through, direct our path when we feel lost. Give us creativity when we feel we're all out of ideas. So many of us wondering how to revive our businesses, how to revive our families, how to revive our lifestyles that were pleasing to God and we've gone astray. Now is the time to say, Lord, I want to hear you again. I want to shut out all this chaos. I want to listen to your voice. I want to listen to your spirit. I want to be led by you. I want to walk in your ways. I just want to be in your presence at all times. Just in a state of surrender where I'm just an instrument being used by you, reaching out to people in need and building a stronger kingdom for you building a stronger being of ourselves, a stronger version of ourselves. And all of it happens when you listen to the Spirit of God. So let's really lift this time of worship to reconnect with God through His Spirit. To feel that presence all throughout. presence that will lead us, a presence that will embrace us, a presence that will comfort us, a presence that will refresh us and renew us. Leave aside all the thoughts of sin, of unworthiness, bring in a heart of forgiveness, of love. A heart filled with the nature and attributes of God. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. There is nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing can compare your living. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves. When my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence. The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts 
long for to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence Lord Holy Spirit you are welcome come flood this place and fill the your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord.
fire within us as we prepare the upcoming days for the Pentecost. Let's truly desire every day, every moment that the spirit that was restored to us, that was sealed in us at the time of our baptism, our confirmation, it might have died out, our relationship might have died out, with the sin that has worked in, with the distractions, but our God, that burning bush that spoke to Moses, that flame can set us on fire again, that can get us going again. All we gotta do is desire all these things from our God. These are things He's promised. These are His goodnesses. We fail to see. But in the moment we cry out, we reach out. With our hands lifted up as a sacrifice. As a sign of surrender. A sign of welcome. He will move.
seat of authority of our lives. We all know that you're always there standing and knocking at the doors of our hearts. Father, at this moment we say welcome. Lord Jesus, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, come. Be our counselor, be our guide, be our comfort. Be all that you wish to be in our lives. We want to acknowledge your presence. We want to acknowledge and be aware of your goodness. We want to keep calling out the name of Jesus, an all-powerful name. Father, we lift up to you everything that's happening around us. All our worries, our anxieties, everything that we're going through. We lay it all into your hands. And as we end this time of worship, who best than to make offerings to our God than in the hands of our Blessed Mother? 
the most powerful intercessor, Queen of Heaven and Earth. Brothers and sisters, I invite you all to bundle those worries, anxieties, problems, situations, health conditions, everything that draws you away from God and lay it in the hands of our Blessed Mother. She will cover it in her mantle. She will lift it up. As we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us end this time of worship by giving all the glory to our God by saying, and Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace of Christ.